Looking at the rear bench seat cover, this looks much more straightforward than the front seat pads. All we've got are one, two, three, four straps going across from front to back on this and effectively two drawstrings, one at either side, which I suspect a continuous run right through just to tighten up the corner. So that should go on quite easily. Let's give that a go now. So we've loosely placed the seat cover on and pulled through the first four straps. I needed to take the boot box out to do this. Uh, that's a two second job. The technique that I'm using to pass these, uh, these uh, straps under the seat is this. I'm using a long, very fine metal rule. It's got a hole in the end of it and I'm squashing the uh, the bit of material through that and then very gently sliding it under the seat and catching it at the other side. And you've got to be really careful that you don't push it through the existing seat cover at the other side. That would be very easy to do. So just very gently push it through. And when you think you're getting close to the other side, switch to inside the car, find the end of the tape and pull that through so you don't damage anything. Doing that is very quick and very easy process to pass these tapes under the seat. Oh, and uh, securing at the back, you can see very helpfully, there are actually metal loops and there are four of those metal loops and they correspond to the locations where each of those tabs are going to be tied. So I'm passing the loops through those from the top and then under the seat, right under there. And you can see that's one that I've passed through already going right underneath the seat material. That's the rear seat base now fitted. Just a bit of uh, shiggling about to neaten it up and the back's going exactly the same as the as the front seat uh, backs do, so they should be pretty easy. And as predicted, the rear seat covers go on very easily. Still a bit of tidying up to do there, but uh, I think they all look really good. Just as well, they're all nice to get the front ones wet while we were doing the job. Nice and neat, and it doesn't affect the operation of the seat at all that still works and in actual fact what it gives us is a canvas uh, base there instead of the hard plastic if we do have the seats down that may or may not be a good thing but I always thought that that uh, hard plastic was very slippery for any kind of load anyway so might well be an advantage great so what do we think of these seat covers well like a lot of the things I've purchased for the Jiminy, <laughs> sorry, in case you're wondering what the square on my forehead is, it's because I've had a head torch on when I've been doing most of that job so that I could see under seats and things. <laughs> it's like left a mark. Yeah, but the seat covers, like most of the things I've bought for the Jiminy, I haven't gone for the cheapest. I've gone what I thought were the best. And I have to say, I'm not disappointed by the Escape Gear seat covers. A little bit like the DIR roof rack, they're not cheap. Um, many would argue they're really quite expensive, but they are beautifully fitted. They are really well cut for the Gemini, and I think, like the roof rack, they add to the appearance, to the robustness of the Gemini, and once again they contribute to the Gemini becoming the vehicle that I need and I want, rather than the vehicle that I purchased straight uh, off the production line as it were. So I'm very happy with, the, with these uh, seat covers. What I'll also do, is I'll keep an eye on how they wear over the next few months and uh, I'll maybe do an update in a few months time to see just how they're doing but just now yeah I'm happy good gear just as in the side the transmission tunnel tuck cover that just velcros in place and I like it I think it's great adds a few more pockets and that is one thing the Gemini is sure of inside so looking good and then we'll just uh, tighten the, the gator around the gear stick I'm afraid that the dash cover is a completely different kettle of fish, however. There is no way whatsoever that I can see that this dash cover would ever fit my UK specification SZ5. For one thing, it, uh, it would block off the, uh, the airbag and it, it just doesn't fit. Bit disappointed by that because it wasn't cheap. Um, might need to speak to the guys at Escape Covers about that, or Escape Gear rather. That's disappointing, that's a shame. 
Oh, well, you can't win them all.